Hello and welcome to fourth session of Avivive Rethink 3D course. In previous sessions, we have covered how to upgrade previous versions to E3D. Now you can use them through this course. In this episode, I'm going to start modeling by creating a piece of equipment. Please note that the main reason of modeling in E3D is fabrication and erection of piping. You know, a structure, civil, culvert, ditch, building, equipment, HVAC, cable tray, junction box, and lighting will be modeled in E3D based on their drawings that we have received from other disciplines to visualize the real plant for piping modeling. It means that E3D doesn't furnish a structural, civil, equipment, HVAC, electrical and instrument output. However, through piping modeling, other disciplines drawing should be modified to be compatible with projects requirements. I will show you the interaction between piping and other disciplines due to finalizing 3D modeling and drawings. In addition, modeling of all parts of plant will provide the opportunity to review layout, access, and maintenance. Actually, model will be reviewed in 30, 60, and 90% of progress by all parties in a project. Piping systems connect pieces of equipment together based on PNID piping and instrument diagram to convey fluid between them to do a specific process. Correct modeling of equipment and put it in the right location is so important because equipment will be fabricated in factory based on its drawing and then will be installed in field based on the location specified in plot plan. After that, Piping will be erected between pieces of equipment based on isometrics generated by E3D. So, different references in construction phase shall be compatible to each other, avoiding clashes and reworking. If modeling of equipment in E3D differs from its drawing or the location in E3D deviate from what is specified in plot plan. Piping spools won't match to nozzles of equipment in a field that causes a lot of problems during fabrication and erection phase that impose considerable cost to a project regarding modification. The philosophy of modeling in E3D is reducing such reworks and extra costs to zero. Therefore, great care must be taken for modeling and layout of equipment. Before initiation of 3D modeling software, contractors had to make replica to ensure them that there would be no obstacle during piping erection in field. You can imagine how it was difficult and time consuming. This course is not only a review of software's menus. Actually, it covers the philosophy behind modeling and describes interaction between piping and other disciplines to finalize 3D modeling. I hope you find this course totally different from what you experienced before. Now, I am going to talk about plot plan as a reference for layout of plant. In the basic phase of project, first revision of this document will be issued and then it will be developed through detailed design phase. Piping discipline is in charge of this document. The method and procedure for preparation of this document is not the subject of this course. However, you should know about the function of this document as a reference for location of equipment in plant. In plot plan, the coordinate of a point of equipment is specified by X and Y, or E and N as an abbreviation of East and North respectively in a plan view. Also, the elevation is specified by Z in section view. This point is named origin of equipment. Equipment could be modeled in E3D by two methods. One, 
Standard to primitive. Modeling of equipment by a standard method is fast, but we couldn't change the default origin of it. Therefore, the use of this method is limited to basic phase of project. In detail design phase of project, we use primitive for creating equipment. In this course, we will focus on primitive as the best method for equipment modeling. As a common practice, I follow these steps for equipment modeling by primitive method. One, create equipment in coordinate X, Y, Z, 0, 0, 0, or ENU, 0, 0, 0, symmetrically. Two, change the origin of equipment in 3D model to the point that is specified by plot plan for coordination. 3. Move the equipment to its location based on plot plan. Let's assume that we have received the drawing of vessel like this from mechanical discipline. Fix equipment. Equipment includes these parts, body, support, nozzles, and insulation. We should create the body of equipment to proceed. Please turn caps lock key on and then enter model. Then select equipment from drop down discipline menu at the top. By selecting equipment, the related tab in toolbar becomes active. Model explorer may not be active. Please go to tools tab and turn it on to see your project's hierarchy. Another way to navigate to an element is the members list. However, I recommend to use Model Explorer in E3D. The Model Explorer provides an easy to use graphical method of exploring the design database. The Model Explorer has the following features. 1. Display database elements in tree view. 2. Manage items in the display using the draw list. 3. Rename, delete, query of attributes, copy and paste of database elements. 4. The current element or CE can be identified in the model explorer as the highlighted item in the tree view. Important note. We are allowed to model each element in the specific level predefined by E3D, named hierarchy. In other words, we should follow the hierarchy required for modeling equipment, piping components, beam and columns, wall and floors, panel and plates, and other components of modeling. Otherwise, the software won't allow us to create them. This hierarchy is used to organize our plant. Our plant may have several sites. Each site has several zones. If we have a mega project, we should divide it into several sites based on their coordination. Then, each site divides to zones based on disciplines such as equipment, civil, a structure and piping. If we have a small project, we can divide it into several sites based on disciplines and then create zone below sites. The hierarchy of equipment is below zone. Therefore, for modeling of equipment, we can use former sites and zones or we shall create new ones. To review mentioned instruction, I am going to create site and zone. Modeling of all elements of plant will be done below site and zone. Therefore, E3D put them in general tab. By hovering mouse over icons, you can get good information about its function. By hovering over site icon, you can see create site. Please stay on the model board and then click on site icon to create temporary site sequencing after previous sites. I name it temporary because if you click on cancel, it will be disappearing. Please type the name of site as a site a space for a space 
training and press enter to check it this error that says that name must not contain spaces so please replace spaces with dash and then press enter please note that if it really accept your data entry there will be a slash before it please enter ok to continue if you want to create equipment below site you will get this error as cannot create equipment at this level because as discussed earlier the level of equipment is below zone when you are working with e3d you should always be aware about the active level you stay on named current element or ce this level is below highlighted when you create an object it will be created below active level stay on the current element site site for training please create zone zone for training now it's a time to create our equipment please shift to equipment tab to start modeling equipment you have two options first you can use equipment icon in the create menu bar it has drop down menu enabling us to select method for modeling second way is right click on draw list and select equipment this option is my preference because it really increases the pace of modeling when you click right on draw list you will get some options regarding the active discipline some of them are active and will be highlighted when you hover over them others are non-active because of your situation or hierarchy in the next episode by using boss options we will create body of our equipment thanks for being with us